Huzzah, a potential doomsday subject that doesn't involve nuclear weapons. So, asteroid AP7, some of you may have heard of it, through headlines such as this. It's a one kilometer sized asteroid that orbits between Venus and Jupiter, recently discovered. Now, immediately you're thinking, planet killer, should we be scared? No. At least not for another thousand years, minimum. Firstly, as a general rule of thumb, if it's called a planet killer, it just means it's an asteroid that's larger than a kilometre. And they call them this for two reasons. One, because of its orbit, it comes relatively close to Earth. And two, despite it being tiny compared to the size of the Earth, it still has the potential to cause a lot of damage. Now, as you can see, the asteroid crosses Earth's orbit. You'll notice that it's highly elliptical. But as I said, worry not, because it takes five years for this asteroid to complete one orbit, which means there'll be very few opportunities for this asteroid and our planet to come in direct contact with each other. Not to mention with orbits as elliptical as this, they take a long time to reach their maximum distance from the sun. It's also worth mentioning that this asteroid's orbit is 0.05 astronomical units away from Earth's own orbit at its closest point. And if you don't know what an astronomical unit is, one astronomical unit is the same distance between the Earth and the Sun. 150 million kilometres. 0.05 is 7.4 million kilometres. And considering the Moon is only 384,000 kilometres away, yeah, we're pretty safe. And the only reason it's considered a potentially hazardous asteroid is because it's predicted to make a few close approaches to Earth here and there. But as we discussed a minute ago on the grand scheme of things, not even comparable to a really bad penalty that aims for the moon instead of the goal. The only things that could make this asteroid potentially dangerous is a close approach with Jupiter that adjusts its orbit slightly, or a slight gravitational nudge from Earth or Venus from a near approach. But even then, highly unlikely.